everyone, it is Adriana from Adriana's Paper Crafts. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use my templates in Canva. I've been getting a lot of requests for that, so I'm finally going to show you guys. Now, quick heads up, I'm not going to be showing you all the ins and outs of Canva or, you know, showing you how to use it if you've never used Canva before. This is strictly just a quick tutorial video on how you can use my templates in Canva. I do have two other tutorials that show you how to use my templates in MS Word slash Publisher and Photoshop and Be Funky, but I do understand that some people only use Canva. And again, this is a tutorial just mostly for you guys, all right? So first things first, you're gonna to wanna to open up the template that you are working on today. So for example, I have this template up. It is the Kinder Bueno two bar pack. And what you need to do is note down the measurements that I have written on the template, all right? Cause you're gonna need that to start off your base. So you're gonna come into Canva. And again, real quick, you can actually follow along on your phone as well. Of course, just the buttons might be in a different spot, all right? You're gonna come over to create a design and you're gonna click down here on custom size. On this little box here where it says PX, that stands for pixels, make sure to click on it and switch it to inches, all right? Because that's what I have on the measurements, okay? So you're gonna note down your measurements here and then you're going to come back and you're going to actually write them in here. So 7.25 by 5.5 and then click create new design. So from there, what you've got is this blank canvas that is in the exact size as a template that you're working on today. So what you need to do then is upload your template into this canvas. So I'm going to click over here on my left hand side on uploads and then upload media and then upload the template that I plan to work on today. Once that loads, go ahead and click on it so that it pops up on your screen. And because these two projects are the exact same size, when I go to resize it like this, stretch it out, it's going to fit perfectly onto my canvas. So that was basically step number one. <laughs> then from here, the tutorial is pretty much exactly the same like my other tutorials as far as my way of designing is to simply design on top of this template. If you have a different method, you know, feel free to do so. But the, the way that my templates are set up, you can see that there's all these different rectangles all over the place. All right. I put little words in here so you can kind of understand what's what. So the way that I always go about designing is designing on top of these shapes here. For example, let's say I wanted to go and start designing. I would come over to elements and I'm gonna type in rectangle up here. I'm gonna click on that so it pops up. Let's say I want it to be the color blue. I would change that and then I would resize this to fit into this rectangle here. So this part of the template is obviously one of the uh, the back parts, you know, the flap in the back. And then you can click duplicate if you want another one exactly the same size. And let's say that the color scheme I'm going with, you know, it, it's supposed to match my logo. So I'm going to click on alternating colors to go with my logo. Now let's say on the front you want a pattern. You can either come on Canva and you can actually search their photos or their backgrounds, and you can click something that they have here, or you can also upload your own pattern. For example, if I go to uploads, upload media, go down to my patterns, let's just grab a random one. Uh, some of these patterns, by the way, are, are not mine, so I do not claim credit for any of the patterns you see specifically right here. Let's just pick this glitter one. All right, so I'm gonna click on that newly uploaded pattern and then I'm going to resize it like this. You're kind of cropping it a little bit and stretching it out. All right, so there's that. So that's how I go about designing everything. Uh, Canva, it's important to remember that there is a free version as well as a paid version. I do use the paid version, so certain things are available to me that may not be available if you're on the free version. 
Um, now, if you're interested in checking out the paid version, Canva does have a month-long uh, free trial. So if you ever want to try it out for a month, I definitely suggest it. One of the really cool perks of signing up for the Canva subscription is that you get to upload your own fonts. So you would come over to text, click on just, you know, add a heading. I'm going to type in whatever. And then I could switch it over here to any of the fonts that they have. But since I'm using the paid one, I can also come up here, click on edit, and I can upload a font using this button here. All right, and then it would come up. So some of the fonts that I have have uploaded is, you know, like this cute one here, this little crayon looking one, you know, just different, different cute little fonts. But that's only available using the paid version. So again, I do think it's something to check out. Um, I I want to say it's about like 10 bucks a month. Um, so is Photoshop. So, <laughs> and I use both. Um, now with Canva, <clears throat> the next step, once you've finished completing your design, the next step is going to be to hit share. You're going to want to click on download. This is important. All right. So don't stop watching this video. You're not done yet. <laughs> Make sure it's on PNG or if you really, really want to, you could do JPEG, but I always do PNG and then click on download all right so it is saving that to my computer right now next you're going to go back to home and we are going to start a new canvas again go to create a design except this time you are going to type in eight and a half by eleven does anybody know why? <laughs> the reason we are doing this is because we need to use the measurements for a regular sheet of paper because we're going to print our design on a regular size sheet of paper. So I'm going to do that. So here's my blank sheet of paper that I'll be printing on. I'm going to come over to uploads and I'm going to upload the design that I literally just just saved. All right. Once that uploads into Canva, go ahead and click on it so it pops up onto your screen. It is going to pop up in the size that you saved it at, which was the same size as your template. Look, let me even show you. This is a template, exact same size. All right. So from here, you can then print multiple copies on a page. So I'm not going to waste no paper. So I'm going to duplicate this so that I can print two to a page. <laughs> From here, you would just click on share and then one more time, download it. And again, you could download it as a PNG, a JPEG. At this point, you could even save it as a PDF if you want to. Once it downloads to your computer or to your phone, you can then print it from there. It is ready to be printed off, whether you're printing at home or if you're printing at a print shop, it is ready to be sent off. That way they print it exactly the way it looks on your screen right now. And then once you get it, you're gonna then cut out the designs and you start assembling all of your stuff, right? So that is how you use my templates with Canva. Hopefully I answered all of your questions. Again, this tutorial is not meant to show you how to use Canva if you're not really familiar to it. This is just showing you how you use my templates with Canva. Now, before you go, again, one more time, <laughs> don't stop watching just yet. If you are using one of my quote unquote weird shape templates, such as the Nutella lid label or a cotton candy tub wrapper, you know, those are shaped kind of weird. So you will not be able to use those in Canva. That is why I have an easy to follow tutorial on my YouTube channel that shows you how to design using those really weird shaped uh, templates. And it's again, using an online free program. So you don't have to download a program. You don't have to be some kind of expert. I show you step-by-step -step how to use photop.com in order to use those really weird shaped templates. All right, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Hopefully I answered all of your questions for you. If you haven't already, be sure to check out my Facebook group. If you're really active in crafting communities, I highly suggest you join. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.